What's happening guys? Animing is back with part two of the Rush F of Destruction CPU tournament. So the last we saw in the last video, Kaiba and John claude and Kaiba won. Let's continue on. Tristan versus Merrick. Tristan beat Loomis in his first round matchup. Merrick beat Johnson. Tristan is going to have to fight super hard to even have a shot here. Let me turn it up a little bit. Merrick did win the Ancient Discovery Tournament. Now, while that was probably my least popular tournament I've thrown, he still won a tournament. Tristan got close, but he's never won a tournament. So, advantage Merrick. Tristan's gonna have to play out of his mind to have a chance. Good play. Bottomless to counter Jalago, smart. He's just gonna get more germs. Oh no. He only has one German he has one German in his hand. Akiora. Yep. Pretty good. If he had Ra in his deck, he could use it, but obviously no Ra since the chef has all three gods. He summons himself in attack mode like a complete dummy. What are you doing? Did he just give up? He's at a hundred life points. So one giant germ hit destroys him. He'll have to give Mirror Force or Dark Hole to have a shot. This is it, Tristan. Do or die time. Dark Hole it is. Okay, yep. He avoids giant germ. Oh no, if he yeah, if he doesn't beat Boganya on the next turn, he loses anyway. This is it, his last turn. Nope, he loses Boganian's effect. But in the anime, it only dealt 300 damage, uh, hilariously. <laughs> Alright, Merrick wins that. There is a lot of duels to get to, so let's get let's get rolling. We could have Merrick versus Joey rematch. Joey versus Noah first. That's a fascinating matchup. Of course, gotta go Joey here. I like Noah. He's a cool villain. He was really good at being a brat. <laughs> he was very memorable. What I always say is, even if you don't like the villain, if you hated them, that means they did their job correctly as the villain. And Noah did that well. Oh, he summons. Yeah, that's the best spear monster, Izanagi, because it's not spent, sent back to the hand, as you can tell. I summon my rocket warrior. Solid start from Wheeler. Yep, need that swords. Does he have the, okay, no he doesn't have the ritual spell. His warriors are getting strong, Noah. You're gonna need your ritual spell now. Like now. This is your last turn of freedom. Virtual world, virtual world is not going to save you from this beatdown you're about to get. Whew, that's a lot of power. If you had to, you could tie a blue eyes. Okay, not anymore though. You can only tie a female mega right now. <laughs> No, he's about to lose every single thing he has. Yada. Oh, 
Doesn't he bring back a warrior? Yep. Not even a single monster. Now he, yep. Okay, he has one turn left. What can you do with one turn, Noah? He hasn't even been, I mean, he has to get Shinado out. That's the only way. And we don't even know what his traps are. Come on, Noah, fight back a little bit. Okay. Do you have it? That's, that's good. But that's, oh, whoop, didn't mean to look. Yeah, it's game, that's game. Sorry, Noah. All right, not the greatest start. Two kind of flop duels. Not the greatest start to this part two of the tournament. The first part was like a dream. Joey advances. We get a Merrick Joey matchup in the third round. Cool. Or should I say quarterfinals? Uh, Umbra and Kaiba Man. This is the first showing of Kaiba Man since. Uh, the Generation Next Tournament, I think. That's the only one he's been in. And Umbra is going to have to bring his A-game to have a chance. After so many great duels, I do not want this tournament to be a flop. What? He summons Kaiba Man in attack mode, and that's it? Whoop, Mass Beast incoming. Whoa, 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 whoa. Umbra. Destroyed half his life points in one turn. I mean, that's not going to do much. Question is, do you have your stuff for your blue eyes? No, you don't. What is in your hand? Okay, he does get one more turn. What is in your hand? This guy has Master of Dragon Soldier, or Dragon Master Knight for crying out loud. You better have blue eyes. Thank you. Does Burst Stream? Oh, I thought he had Burst Stream. Well, I still does not beat Mass Beast. And that's game. Mass Beast beats Blue Eyes. By the way, Kaiba Man was rolling all along, if I didn't already tell you guys. In the, in the lore of Reshef of the Destruction game, he was, he was uh, to put on the costume to act as Kaiba. Um, as a hero for the kids. That was the whole thing. And he was no hero here. It was cool to see Blue Eyes versus Mass Beast because we saw that in anime, but yeah. Hmm, he lost. Oh, nope, wrong person. He lost really easily. Three easy duels so far. Who will duel Umbra? Bandit Keith or Mai? This was what could have happened in Duelist Kingdom had they gotten different matchups. Kind of fascinating, actually. No, I, I didn't mean to do that. They really never interacted much, but if at all, I don't think they even talked to each other. But still, it's interesting to see how Bandit Keith handles Mai. She should be able to counter him because he, he kind of relies on spells and traps sometimes. And she is known for destroying all of spells and traps. She can. Oh, she kind of bricked. And Keith did not. And 
He's usually the one known for breaking. Forced to use her dark hole, finally a monster. Main phase two, clever. Just kidding, that was terrible. Overdrive, he has Metal Morph. 100% Metal Morph, yep. Mirror Wall, get negated. Whoa, look at those light points. Did you see that score? He had like four, he had like 738 or something. As long as she has Mirror Wall, she has control of the school. Look at those life points. <laughs> it's 3938. That's got to be Cyber Jar. You're a fool to get rid of. I would have kept Mirror Wall one more turn. Blast Fury. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of damage. Hmm. Interesting. Pet Dragon, pretty smart move. Monster goes bye bye. What are you doing? What have you done? You could have won right there. All you had to do was attack the Harpy Channeler. Well, Keith's possessed and he doesn't. The person controlling him. I mean, no, he's not being controlled, but. <gasps> Mirror Force! Finally, a decent duel. It's a top deck game. She's gonna beat him, I bet you. This is it. Draw a monster, you lose, Keith. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna say no. Nope, that's oh well I mean it doesn't matter now. Look at those life points, that is so strange. There's a loud train in the background. My win's a decent duel. We have not had a good duel yet. This this part of the tournament. That was a decent duel at best. It was kind of interesting to see them match up. So my advances, she's like, sorry, hun. Oh, I made her sound country. Whoops. Sorry, hun. Rex and Bakora. This is regular Bakora, not Yami Bakora. And this lore is just regular Bakora. Rex is in the 40s. Sixty four, if I recall. Yep. No, don't do that. Get rolling. Honestly, I'm rooting for Rex here. But Bacor could be a threat even to take on Rashef and Sol Chavalski. Yikes. He actually got Mirror Force first turn. That's right, no fear, go all in, Bakora. Who needs destiny board? That was a bad, well, I guess he had to do something. Nope, we are forced, you lose absolutely everything. Double Giant Germ and Double Headless Horse, uh, Headless Knight are gone. I believe you have one turn left, Bakora. Dark hole time. Yep, called it. I'm the king at calling them. 
He takes the lead back too, just barely. The seal. You have a monster. No monster? Seriously? Come on, come on, Rex. Do not let a 1300 attack point monster overpower you. It's gotta be Dark Hole or Mirror Force. Eh, that works. That definitely works. Okay, it's begun. Oh wow, it was in his hand. Imagine if Morphing Shore happened. Alright. It would be F-I-N if it was the English version right now. But it's D-E-A. Nope. That's game. Rex just won. Doesn't matter what Bacor does now, even if he has an extra turn. This was a decent duel. Just another decent one. He tried, but... Heavy Storm too good at that point. Doom Caliber Knight. Nice. Good work, Rex. I'm proud of you. Good work, good work. Person I wanted to win won. So who will duel Rex, Taya or Arcana? I haven't had Arcana for a long time since he won Battle City, if I recall. And Taya just recently won the Water Park Bash. So two champions going at it here. Cool. Do think Taya will beat Arcana though? Battle of Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl. So unfortunate Arcana is not in this game, it makes no sense. Okay, yeah, he was one of the first duelists I made, sixth duelist I made. Taya, Taya. Although I will admit, Arcana's voice in the dub always made me laugh. It was so great. And yeah, terrible play. I would have waited on that. Mystic Tomato is too valuable. This is the problem, Arcana. So it's a race to see who loses more life points, and you are definitely losing it right now. And you have no monsters. What are you going to do? Good news is you get a Destiny draw here. Okay, gets his... No, I wanted to see a famous Red Dark Magician. <sighs> okay, at least we still got a duel. Where is the famous Red Dark Magician? She's not willing to attack with it. That's... Huh, that was a pretty good play to get her to get rid of her monster. As soon as she gets a monster, you're dead, Arcana. Decent play. No other monster. Where are his monsters? Ah, no, that's it. Friendship's going to beat you. Dark Magician Girl, the card that beat Arcana in the anime. Well, folks, we're not going to see the Red Dark Magician. But we did get to see the Dark Magician Girl alternate art, and that works for me. Taya advances. I knew she'd win. I just, I really wanted to see Red Dark Magician, and we got cheated out of that. All right, now, the new character, the moment you've all been waiting for, Cecilia Pegasus in action. Probably wondering, will she do well against Para? 
I think she will. Pear is a good matchup for her. I'm going Cecilia. I want her to get to at least top eight. Cecilia and Para. And yes, she runs a ritual spellcaster deck like Pegasus. Or Solchevalsky. Because, you know, like husband, like wife. Alright, so Cecilia, you will be... She is at the bottom. And... Para. They are in the 70s. Let's get rolling. If Cecilia, Cecilia loses first or second round, I'm going to be so sad. And please do well. Her ritual monster is pretty broken. Divine Grace uh, North Wemco. Come on, you can beat that. It's just a Dragumo. Oh, you can't. Double Jiraguma. Oh, that hurts. Oh, this is bad for Para, especially if he keeps getting it wrong. That's one of her monsters, Sage of Stillness. Good news. Para is low on points. Bad news. She did not choose another Shining Angel for some reason. Hmm. What's wrong with Cecilia's hand? No way, Labyrinth Tank? Holy crap. You actually got Labyrinth Tank. Impressive. And you lost everything. <laughs> Don't you dare tribute it. Okay. Sometimes they will. They're that dumb sometimes. Yep, still his Labyrinth Tank. She stole his Labyrinth Tank. She's like, nice Labyrinth Tank. I'll take it. There's her boss. Please summon Divine Grace. Please? Ah. His life points are so low. So she does win, but doesn't get to show off Divine Grace yet. Alright, Cecilia advances. She's on a mission. Shoddy, even though Shoddy already lost, he sent her on a mission to stop Pegasus or Solchevalsky. And turn him back to Pegasus. Um, but who will duel her? Duke or Bones? This is a fascinating matchup. I'm going Duke. Although I love Bones. I don't know. I'm a... Mm, Duke or Bones? Tough, 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 tough. Duke is in this game. Still don't know why Rex and Band of Keith aren't in this game, but Duke is. Okay. Uh, he's in the, he's number 69, actually. Yep. That was not on purpose, either. That was not, I promise you guys, that was not on purpose. So Bones, perfect character to play Bones. He's in the 40s, if I recall. Okay. No, 58. That's what it was. Come on. Yeah, Duke. But it's like a 51-49% thing for me. It's close. I want a good duel. We have not had many good duels this video. It completely countered the first half of the video. Skull Invitation can make things nasty real quick. How will you counter the mighty snake hair, Duke? Yep, every card you lose is going to the- okay, good. Swords is good. This will buy Duke some time to find his tribute. That works. Oh, well, you got, eh, you kind of got rid of the raw monster. 
Yep, there it is. Maximum six. This is his boss. Whoa, oh my gosh. You're about to take a lot of damage. A lot of damage bones. Oof. Bravo, dude. Bravo. 2,900 attack points and does piercing? Yes. That still is great. Look at this. You can only take one more hit. Yeah, this, the Skull Invitation's working against you. These are all good plays, but playing defense just cost you the duel. Look, look, your defense is too weak. If you just set, if you just played your monster's attack mode, you, I think you still would have lost, but it would have been closer. Bones goes out. The swords mattered. It got him plenty of time to get what he wanted. Cecilia and Duke. Duke, this is one date you will not snatch because she's she only has heart for Pegasus. <laughs> That's the whole thing about her in the anime. She didn't even duel. I just made her deck. Nesbitt and Grandpa. These two would never interact in the anime, but okay, let's find out who would win. Machines or rocks? Machines versus rocks. Nesbitt is near the beginning. Grandpa's right here. And if I recall, he's the 71st deck. His show is... here he is. Alright. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Funny that Attack the Moon really does matter. It's really good for his deck because his rocks. Oh, and he summons himself. The robotic knight steps onto the field without his trusty trap. You cannot summon next turn. That was an extremely. See? Extremely good move. Attack the moon is dangerous with Grandpa. Yep, Machine King beats it. Playtime's over, Gramps. The Machine King's here. Ooh. Wow, that is a buffed up Machine King. Look at this thing. 2800. plan doing that just to crash limit removal he got him to do it he got him to waste his cards oh right it doesn't destroy machine king actually that was a good play by us but bravo that was a good use of limit removal Mirror Force has got to be. I would not have summoned another monster. You're going to pay for it. But Gramps is out of monsters still? What? They both are? 
Come on, Keith, Sal. I don't. I can't have everyone, all machine users, go out. Yep, it's a monster. One more wrong pick, and you're dead, Grandpa. You're going to the Shadow Realm. Ordeal of the Traveler is a good card when you get the right picks. Oh no. Perfect Machine King. We actually get to see Perfect Machine King. Versus Mega Rock. Oh! <laughs> Perfect Machine King versus Mega Rock. And Mega Rock win wins. That was great. That was great. I feel like Pegasus when Yugi and Joey were dueling and two fused monsters had been set for battle. Don't know if I agree with the play, but whatever. You had a 3500 attack point monster. This still works though. Finally, this is like the first great duel we've had. Yep. Say goodbye to your... Uh, Nesbitt's going to lose at this rate. Oh, man. He has Guardian Sphinx and Heracus Sphinx. Oof. This duel's over. What are you planning? Are you planning to return the card to his hand? Because that's not going to work. What is Nesbitt's plan? What are you doing? I mean, yeah, oh, why, huh? Summon Exod, may as well. Isn't that the first time he summoned Exod? That was cool. Grandpa played all his boss monsters. This old man still got it. He still got game. Yogi. That was great. That old man still got it. That was great. It looked like Nesbitt was going to beat him. He summoned all his bosses. He had Machine King. Machine King prototype. Perfect Machine King. And Grandpa just plowed through him. Who will duel him? Seeker or Mokuba? I feel bad for Mokuba. He's become like a running joke in my tournaments. And that's not his fault or my fault. I randomized the brackets and he still gets bad matchups somehow. I don't know how, he just is. Welcome is in the 50s, he's like 53. Oh, no, way off, 56. All this time, all these tournaments, I still can't remember the exact number. Huh, I keep doing that, don't I? Wow. I didn't think I'd see your golem used like that. Yep, that's how I'm giving the time he needs for Exodia. Rude Kaiser, pretty solid. Solid for Mokuba. As long as he doesn't get the five pieces of Exodia, I think Mokuba can win. It's once he starts drawing cards is going to be the problem for Mokuba. Terrible play. You just lost so many life points. Oh. Uh-oh. You need Heavy Storm, Mokuba. Hmm, this could go either way, honestly. It depends on what, if Seeker starts drawing cards or not. He's gonna go all in. 
Oh, and he paid for it. Dang, that stinks. Why set copycat? Why? What the heck? And he still... Uh, he doesn't have exodia? Oh. Poor Mokuba. He got exodia He got obliterated, guys. Take a good look at that. He had two... He had two left legs. Two... Two right... I mean, two left arms and two left legs. What the heck? So he had... He had three arms and three legs. Creepy. I can say we at least get Exodia this tournament. Can we get the gods showing up too? Seeker wins, but Mokuba had a chance, it looked like, if he didn't get Mirror Force and Double Swords. So, Seeker and Grandpa, interesting. Exodia versus Exod. The moment you've all been waiting for. The hero versus the main hero versus the main villain. Or chef versus pharaoh. Gotta go for my hero. I'm always my hero, the pharaoh. He is the king of games for a reason. The chef doesn't stand a chance. Now, I don't know. I have not tested the chef's deck. I don't know if it will brick or if it will destroy everyone. I don't know. I have no idea. We're about to find out. We're about to find out. Okay, solid start. You're gonna need more than a solid start though against the broken deck of Rochelle. And you're about to see why he's broken. Yes, I know no monsters, but just just wait and see. Just wait. He has did you see what he tossed? You didn't see the card he tossed? Oh, Dark Magician. Ooh. Oh no. Dark Magician of Chaos. Oh my gosh. See, this is why he's broken. He completely countered all his plays right there. Another Zumbira. Magic Cylinder. Legendary Pharaoh card. Rageki. So many broken cards being used. Wonder how many gods he has in his hand right now. He has two obelisks, two raw, and one slifer. All right, he's gonna start healing now. This you're about to run out of swords, and you're going to be in trouble, Rochelle. This is it. What is he gonna do? Nothing? He just lost. He had Mirror Force. He just lost. Rashef has been eliminated, folks. I believe that's enough. Isn't it? Yep, it's enough! He did it! He did it. Didn't take a single point of damage either. Rochef lost. The big bad's out. His control should be broken, but it's not, obviously. Rochef lost. Wow. Rochef is out. The Pharaoh advances. So who will duel him? Strings or Ghost Kaiba? Now they only have to worry about Sol Travalski. Alright, neither of these characters are a character, obviously.
I know just what to use for Ghost Kaiba. He's kind of a ghoul anyway. He's number 70, if I recall correctly. Next to Grandpa. Let's get going. I'm going... This is Strings Without Slifer, so... I'm going Ghost Kaiba. Sorry about that guys, I miss I had to go to the bathroom real quick. Oh my gosh, Ghost Kyve is getting wrecked. This duel looks I would severely misjudge this. He won't get to Ultimate Dragon. That's a shame. Oh yes he will. Yes, he will get to Ultimate Dragon. Okay, problem. You have to get rid of Abyss Soldier, though. Don't go for Granadora. I know you want to. Don't. You will lose if you go Granadora. Alright. Here it comes. Ultimate Dragon Alternate Art, too. Cool, right? And Blue Eyes. Bam. Look at this build. And... Wah, wah, wah. Should have waited on, Mir on Monster Reborn. Game. Strings wins pretty easily. Oof. Alright. Strings up, plot duel, fair and strings. So, we are on to the round of, oh, it's round of 16, not quarterfinals. We have a long way to go, guys. It's going to be a long way to go. So, the Shizu and Solchevalski. She can definitely lock down Solchevalski easily. He will have to do his best to have a chance against her. What the a uh, pastor? What am I doing? Yeah, Mirror Force had to have that because he's about to be in trouble. I mean, she has Necro Valley. He's already in trouble. Can he use those cards from the grave? I mean, these are good, but as long as she has Necro Valley, he's in danger.
Regeki. He had to use force to use a Regeki on that. Yes, he is winning in life points, but the fact she has Necker Valley changes everything. She could easily overpower him. And she has Mirror Force. I, I know for sure that's Mirror Force. Big. That was a big time play. Hmm. Yeah, most, aren't most of the Grave Keepers uh, dark? I think they're all, they're all dark, right? Or they are? Can't remember now. Does he have Thousand Eyes Restrict? Oh my gosh, he does. This changes some things, but she still has Mirror Force. Look, she has... Oh, wow. Dang, I think, I think Sol Chabalski is going out. He's gonna lose. Look at this field. That almost ended the door right there. So, let's review. He lost to, he was eliminated by Merrick. And now he's about to be eliminated by Shizu in this tournament. The Star family is, his, is the thorn in his side. Luckily, he's hanging on by a thread. He needs Relinquish. That's the only way he gets back in this. Oh, no, he lost. He lost his Relinquished. I, I don't see how he comes back from this. Royal Tribute was brutal. This is it. Last turn of freedom. Good play, kind of. What do you take? Yeah, Shaman. It's, nah, that's game. Mm -mm -mm. He played two Thousand Eyes Restricts and two Relinquished, and it was not enough because she had Necker Valley. Necker Valley changed everything. She is so powerful. She's great. And she only lost to Merrick that one time. She may win this whole tournament. She did it. All, all the villains have just lost now in this video. Well, all the main villains. We still have a few villains. So Solchevalski's out. Who will duel with Shizu? Gansley or Kaiba? Kaiba versus his underling. Hmm, interesting. Gainsley's powerful. I don't know if Kaiba has a tough road to become champion. Nope, not, no, I meant Gansley. All right, Kaiba. Excuse me, I need some water. Terrible, terrible for him. He could lose all his best. Okay, that's actually not bad. That's not bad. Double blue eyes, getting rid of double blue eyes is okay for him. That's kind of ideal. You know what? Kaiba will take this. That was not the worst play in the world. That was not the worst play in the world. Gansley's in trouble. Ooh, back to your hand it goes. Kind of making it work with what he's got. He's making it work. Oh, why? 
Why wouldn't you just get rid of the crush card? It's too dangerous. That was a terrible play in this case. He has double searchers. And he got, oh my gosh. He wasn't lying when he likes to build, he said he likes to build a powerful workforce. Good news, he can't beat your 1400 defense monster. There it is. Except, you know, he still has a mother grizzly, man. Oh, there's his boss. This is basically his rainbow snake in Ghana. Kaiba's in so much trouble. Yeah, he... Okay. Decent play. Because NAI is stupid enough to attack him. Yep, free blue eyes. But if Silent Abyss goes away, all of Kaiba's stuff's going out. He cannot attack Silent Abyss, or you lose if you attack Silent Abyss. Okay, he's not dumb. Completely. Yes. Good. Smart plays from Kaiba. Amazing plays from Kaiba, actually. This is actually a really good duel. We have a couple of good duels in this video so far. No, that was your last mistake. Okay, I guess not. Kaiba knew what he was doing. I need to just shut my mouth. This is Seto Kaiba after all. Chaos, yep. Almost lost this turn, Kaiba. Just use Chaos's effect. Yes, you win. Okay. Whew. The ending of that duel was very nerve wracking. Kaiba almost lost that. Bravo, bravo, Kaiba. Look at those life points 100 to 0. Can't get closer than that. Alright, Kaiba wins, and we'll duel a Shizu plot duel. He's gonna struggle though. American Joey plot duel as well. American Joey. Didn't mean to do that. I switch yummy American Merrick decks. I have to do that, by the way, after the tournament. I need to remember that. Merrick. Joseph Wheeler, where are you? Let's go, Joey. Make your sister proud. Beat this creep. No, I'm just kidding. This is regular Merrick. He's, he's good at this, in this lore. Because he helped us unlock Raw. If you guys play the game, he's the one that you have to duel to help unlock Raw. I want a great duel. Memorable of their Battle City duel. Red eyes. No trap to protect him, interesting. Okay. 
Revival Gym, pretty good card, yeah. He will need that. Honestly, uh, main phase two, Monster Reborn. <laughs> what is the AI doing? They will never learn not to do it on I mean, to do it on main phase one, even if they have victory. Okay, duel's completely flipped on its head. Joey's the one in deep trouble. Joey, you gotta do something here, man. He has your red eyes. I summoned the blue flame souls. Ah, no, you should have got rid of Boganian. I know what he's doing. He wants to do maximum damage. No! Oh my gosh, he lost everything. He lost Mirror Force and, uh, oh, I forgot, he gets that back. Yeah, but you have to take out Boganian or you lose. Oh, and you can't, you can't lose a monster. It can't go to the grave. Nope, he does not, he's not smart enough. Doesn't matter what you do now, because it doesn't matter, Boganian. You took out the wrong monster. And plus he would have crashed into Jinza. Decent duel. It was kind of fun. It was really fast. Really fast-paced duel. Joey, guess just... He just... I guess Merrick proved he was better. Not what I always thought. I always thought Joey was a better duelist, but... Who will duel Joey, Umber or Mai? I mean, who will duel Merrick, Umber or Mai? Either is interesting, but Mai is fascinating because Merrick's like on a redemption task. Now, Mai wants to beat Merrick because of what he did to her all the, you know, back in Battle City. She's, it's not going to be easy though. Umber's not going to lie down. Number 44. Let's go. Come on, Mai, because I want to see the plot duel, American or the rematch of the century, American Mai. Well, she started no monsters last time, didn't she? Against Keith. What's wrong with her? And he has your pet dragon now. Good. Okay, good. Where the heck are her monsters? There's one. Good. Okay, she is she does have cards to stop him, but not many. Mirror wall? Yeah, I was waiting for that. Her and Miss Chenna use that card. They're basically the only ones that do. She can pay afford one more turn of mirror wall, but then yeah, all bets are off. Interesting duel. Umbra has the upper hand on her. Oh man, my, 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 <laughs> my, my, get it. This is it, my, do or die time. Okay, do you have something else? Mm. I mean, you okay, okay. Yeah, it's enough to overpower him, barely. 
but you only have a thousand life points. This is where it gets scary. You only have a thousand life points. Oh my gosh, my. You lose in two turns. You have to you have to go quick. You have to go now. Attack. She can beat him before he beats her. Maybe. Depends on what he draws next turn. Oh, she had exact damage? He survives. Oh my gosh, max mask of weakness. He actually had mask of weakness, are you kidding me? Last turn. He lost. He was so close. That was a great duel. We've had a few great duels. The Grandpa duel, the Kaiba duel, and this duel were really good. Mai was so close to losing. I think most of the bad guys are out at this point. Alright, so we will get Merrick and Mai in the next round. I'm excited. Merrick beat Joey. Can he beat Mai? So, Rex and Taya. Interesting. Taya should have this duel, though. Dinosaurs versus Magicians. Rex never won a tournament, Taya still has, as we know. The seal is negated, but she had to get rid of Monster Reborn for it. That was dumb. Why do that? Why in attack mode? I don't... Why is the egg in attack mode? All I can say is at least he gets... Oh no, he didn't even get a destiny draw off this. <laughs> Terrible place for Rex. Hammerhead, actually amazing point. That was the almost the perfect card that could have brought him back. He's gonna do it. The crazy man's gonna do it. Smart play, except you I mean your life points are pretty low from that. Search battle. Here we go. Surprise, this is the first search battle of the entire tournament. Yes, his old boss. Two out of King Rex. It's weird. She has the complete life point advantage, but he does have field advantage on her. But... She has Honest in her hand, so attack with Hyper Hammerhead. Yes, smart. That was so smart. Taya in trouble. Mmm, Taya's in trouble. She needs Mirror Force or Dark Hole. No, the worst one she could have got. She lost. Taya lost? Tyrant Dragon? Yep, I knew he was going to Tyrant Dragon. Why? Why? Why are you letting him summon again? Or her summon again? You fool. What are you doing? Dude. <laughs> you had the duel. Did you, is he going to lose? Okay. 
It was close though. It says she sat dirt magician girl. Just because she didn't want to lose life points. What the heck? How is she still in this? Rex, this is Rex's fault. He should not have done this. Nah, that's she ran out of the gas. And Rex is, can't make any more dumb moves. That was a pretty good duel, but Rex let it go on longer than it should have. The champ's out. Taya's out. Rex advances. Okay, we've had some more good duels now. There were some bad ones at the beginning, but... So, Rex advances. Who will duel Rex? Cecilia or Duke? Hmm. Interesting. I don't... I don't know. Duke's pretty good. I mean, nah. It should be Cecilia. She has a more powerful deck than him. But... Don't count on Duke. Sometimes he's good. And you know, his deck's number 69. That's good enough. I promise. That wasn't on purpose. I promise. Cyber Jar. Yep. We're about to see there a lot more of their decks. Ah, he drew a better card than her. Couple. Oh, there's one of the cards he actually played in the anime. That could decide the entire duel. If Duke's lucky enough. Uh oh. Oh, they both got a six. Hmm. Nope. Lady Luck is not on Duke's side. Okay, Snipe Hunter, time to use your effect. It's one hit. It's two hit. There's Luminize. That was the card that was on Saber. It's three hit. And that was all, all over feeling like that was going to save her. Bad news. Cecilia has no field. Good news. She has a gigantic hand. Great start. Except, yeah, it doesn't kill Strike Ninja. She's going to use his own effect against him? She loves using <laughs> opponent's monsters against him. That's crazy. The, that six does that. She got countered. He's gonna get her to waste all her cards. He got her to waste all her cards. I can't believe it. He found a way to counter her AI. Her AI got countered. That may have just one duped the entire duel. Oh, oh, wow. Lucky top deck. Lucky. Do you have... Ah, no monster, though. Interesting duel. He... That was cool how he got the AI to mess up. Oh, he could have won this turn. Oh, no, he couldn't have. Oh, he does have his boss out. This is it. Mirror Force. You have to get Mirror Force. That also works. Yeah. Okay, she has three turns to get her boss. That's gonna be the only thing that will save her. Oh wow, good play. Shine Palace, I gave her that because you know, Pegasus had it too. The Shine Palace. Ah, he says I'll sword you back. 
Good. That's a pretty good duel. Did not think Duke would... Oh, no. Wait, can't she get rid of her counter? Yep. Is he going to try to go for Pearson? And he does. Uh-oh. No, don't do that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Cecilia. No face down? Nothing? Cecilia loses. Exact damage for Duke. Good duel, though. Cecilia never got to pull off her boss, Divine Grace. Kind of shocking, honestly. Hmm. I mean, she did win one duel, so that, I guess I was good enough. But Duke advances. Duke and Rex. What the heck? Two more duels in this round. I think I'm going to end the video here because, look, we're already at... Oh, we're already over an hour. Grandpa and Seeker. This could be a crazy fast duel or a crazy slow duel. Seeker, one of the first characters I made, the ninth deck. I am going Grandpa here. Yep, that's all Seeker cares about. Just keep drawing those cards, Seeker. Grandpa says, oh, I like that. It's a rock. I'll take it. Erica thinks, yep. Okay, dilemma for Seeker. He has to start getting draw power right now. I mean, he's drawing, he's just not getting enough draws. That's Mirror Horse, definitely. Oh no, he just countered Mirror Horse. Goodbye. He has both Sphinxes out. Cool. Guardian and Herika. Grandpa's got game, people. This old man can play. How did he lose the... I forget who he lost to in the Ancient Discovery. Grandpa advances. So who will duel Grandpa? Pharaoh or Strings? Plot duel. Except no Slifer this time. And we never got to see a god. Unfortunate. Oh my gosh, didn't mean to do that. Last duel of the video, and we're, hopefully it's a good one. Although, I don't know what kind of a fight you can put up against this. Against, you know, the monster that is the king of games. I think Strings is also one of the last bad guys left. If not the last bad guy left. I don't think any bad guys advanced, did they? Ooh, that's gonna ruin Strings' deck. He 
He can't do it. He can't special summon. He ruined his deck. <laughs> Hilarious. Ah, but you can't get by a humanoid slime. Yes, you can. Never mind. This looks like the duel to me. You guys start magician. Look at that artwork. Amazing. <laughs> it's just amazing artwork. None of this matters because you played Jam Breeding Machine. All that matters is if you get Dark Hole or Mirror Force. No, Mirror Force won't matter because Breaker. You need Dark Hole. He could pop your... He could get rid of your Mirror Force and you'll be in trouble. There it is. Say goodbye to your Mirror Force. Should be enough damage. Oh, okay, yeah, Granador just died. To the Shadow Realm with you, Strings. Well, that was pretty fun. I'm curious to see if there's any bad guys left after that. So, Pharaoh versus Grandpa, oh my gosh. So... In the, what is this, quarterfinals, we have Pharaoh, Grandpa, Rex, Duke, Merrick, and Mai. Nope, all good guys left. Kaiba, Shizu, and we have a lot of good duels coming up here. A lot of plot duels. Actually, those, that's a Battle City duel. Battle City duel. That duel never happened. That duel definitely never happened. Interesting. All right. I will see you guys for part three, and we'll end the tournament. Bye.